What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Through Garage. And if you tune in, make sure to sub in if you're turning. Thank you. Really appreciate you. On today's video, I will be replacing a thermal fan switch and a fan motor uh, due to uh, over heating potential issue i was having due to my gauge reading when i was on the interstate uh so i got concerned about it and i wanted to make a change so let's get into this video right now i am using a 10 millimeter uh socket uh to remove these three top bolts in the bottom as you can see one two and three and I will also be removing my wiring that connects to the motor and we will be changing the driver's side fan. As you can see, I got damage on the wire uh, due to it rubbing on the belt. Um, yeah. And as you can see, we finna replace this motor right there. Let's get to it. We got three bolts. We just got a loose uh, 10 millimeter. That's all you need. Now I have the new used fan motor that I will be placing in. You just reverse in the order and that's pretty much it. Now we will be replacing the thermal fan switch. You can use a uh, an adjustable wrench to get the old one off, or you can use a 25 millimeter socket. Make sure you have a bucket or something nearby to collect the coolant that will spill out. Don't be like me. But we got the old one out. So we got the old out. Now we got the new in. Only thing you can do is just tighten it up. You don't have to go too crazy. Now we got to go to our old parts store to get some logical tape, some zip ties. Let's go. Now we made it back with some zip ties and some electrical tape. We're going to be repairing the wire. As you can see, I have made sure it was repaired and made sure everything was looking pretty neat compared to what it was before even in the uh the wires to the thermal fan switch and now we just got to put the fan housing back in as you can see i have it back in three bottom bolts in and three top and we got our wiring and all that cleared from the belts and all that so nothing rubbed now we just placing everything back Yeah. As you can see guys, we got this bad boy running smooth. We making sure nothing has touched the belts. We gotta put our covers on sometime soon. But everything is running smooth. We don't Everything is basically clear. Let's just say that we're going to take it on the test drive. But here's the old motor, which we will need to ohm out some time. And here is the old resistor. Now we're going to give it a test drive and see if we're going to have any temp issues. I'm going to have to push on it uh, to see if the gauge goes crazy.
so after a good really good test drive i've been really uh pushing on it i want to you know let it run for a bit it has been maintaining uh, like the correct temp but mind you when i was on the interstate like that thing was like reading so high and it like i got so scared because i was like like probably like 40 45 minutes away from home and i ain't want like nothing too crazy to happen but um it seemed like everything going well the temps uh managing to stay in the middle but i do want to do deeper investigation because i noticed the driver's side fan ain't turning um i might need to own out the other uh motor i might need to check the fuses because i have been looking at clark's garage um so i'm gonna be like probably might do another video but i want to do like a deep dive checking the fuses maybe the fan relay uh all sorts of things but overall the thing is like running better than what it was before so i'm uh surprised with it. so i hope you have a good day let's get to it make sure to sub in and uh like uh tell me your thoughts if you have a 944 uh, tell me your thoughts on um, with my situation both fans was running before and when i got on the interstate i noticed the the gauge went up noticed one fan out end up changing that thermo fan switch and that fan motor but i'm not sure when i was driving do both of them was kicked on but i know sometimes it could kick on if you have like the ac on to give extra airflow across but I'm not sure. Let me know your opinion and all. But like I said, we're going to do a deep dive uh, after looking at the Clark's Garage. And I'm really excited. So stay tuned for more 944 uh, content. And I'm like new to it. I'm actually gravitating to this car more and more each day. I've done overhaul on it with the engine and all that so i might drop videos on that still got videos of that so i might not dropping it by the way if you new man sub in like i said and thank you give me your opinion and let's go